Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Hyundai Mobis here at CES. How's everybody doing? I appreciate that. Some good feedback. You guys doing good over here? Well, welcome to Hyundai Mobis here at CES. My name is Danny Hoyt, and I'm going to be your tour guide today around this display, this technology, and of course, this vehicle right here. So over the next few minutes, we're going to go uh, on a bit of a journey into the future of automobile technology as envisioned by Hyundai Mobis. We're gonna show you things like communication lighting that will happen on the inside and the outside of the vehicle. We're gonna to talk to you about the GUI, which is the graphic user interface. That's the large screen right there. We're gonna show you V-Touch technology. It's the hands-free technology that's gonna control this. And of course, we're gonna show you autonomous driving. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna step back to make sure you get a good look. But this right here is the M-Vision S. It can seamlessly switch between autonomous driving mode and manual driving mode, which we're gonna demonstrate shortly. In addition, it uses camera sensors to identify pedestrians and vehicles on the road, as well as drivers and passengers on the inside. It even has lighting technology so that people on the inside can show off their personality, kind of connecting humanity and technology in the same way. For example, when on autonomous driving mode, you're gonna notice that all the lights will be blue. And when it switches to manual driving mode, you're gonna notice the lights switch to yellow. But rather than just tell you guys about all this technology, we thought we'd go ahead and show it to you guys. Is that all right with you guys? There we go. In order to do that, I'm gonna need a little help. So I'm gonna invite my friend Eric to come on up here. Now, Eric is gonna play a couple roles today. He's gonna play the role of driver in the car. He's gonna play the role of passenger. Uh, and if we're lucky, we might even get some dance moves and some fitness out of Eric in the car. But we'll show you that in a moment. Eric, you ready to show these people the M-Vision S? That's right. All right, you can make your way into the vehicle. Now, I want you to notice, as he makes his way into the car, the car identifies that Eric's in there. It's gonna go ahead and switch to blue lighting to alert him and everybody on the outside. The car is in autonomous driving mode. Next, it's gonna utilize facial retinal recognition so it can go ahead and identify what driver's in there. And it's gonna go ahead and greet him with a nice, warm, welcome message. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that if you've made your way into this part of CES, that you're at least interested and curious about the future of automobile technology. I'm gonna assume further that whether you have a brand new car or your car is a few years old, you're at least aware of just how much technology has changed. The things we can do in cars, through technology nowadays is absolutely remarkable. Well, with Hyundai Mobis and the M Vision S, we're gonna take that to an entirely different level. Cars are no longer just gonna be a means of transportation, they're gonna be connected to everything. Not just your mobile devices like you have out now, they're gonna be connected to smart home appliances, even other vehicles on the road, and they'll be able to share that information instantaneously and seamlessly. So my job today is to give you a little idea of what that's gonna look like. So first and foremost, as Eric made his way into the car, just like you guys all have a cell phone, you have a smartphone, Eric has one in his pocket as well. When he made his way into the vehicle, the M Vision S started syncing his contacts, his destinations, and it started syncing his calendar. So it's actually popped up an alert there on the screen. If you can't read it, I'm gonna read it for you. It says, it's already asking him, it's got the Pop Music Awards tonight. So it recognized Eric's got the Pop Music Awards right here in Vegas over at the MGM Grand. Eric, you gonna go? He already selected, going. yes, he's on his way to the MGM Grand, so here we go. So this is where the fun part happens. He selected yes, the car is gonna signify with blue lighting, it's in autonomous driving mode. He is on his way, as you can see, to the MGM's Grand Garden Arena. A couple things are gonna happen. Because the, uh, the Pop Music Awards are fun, there's lights, there's music, there's celebrities, the M Vision S is gonna go ahead and change the lighting on the inside of the car to, to reflect the mood of the destination. So because the Pop Music Awards are fun, it's got some fun lighting. For those of you on this side, you can see on that communication panel right there, these lights are set to mimic like the lights you see at an awards show. Eric has chosen to communicate with you guys that he's heading somewhere fun. Also, for those of you on that side, you hear this, the music that's starting to come from the car? The M Vision S automatically selected a song that also reflects the mood of the destination. It's just put on some pop music. Now it's gonna start scanning traffic. It's even gonna start scanning and looking for parking spaces at or near the MGM Grand. What's further, if you guys can see on the inside of there, there's a 3D rendering of the MGM Grand. The part that's highlighted there is actually where the Pop Music Awards are taking place. So when Eric gets to the MGM Grand, he knows exactly where to go. We're gonna take it a step further. It's actually looked in his phone, scanned and found his tickets and pulled his tickets up on the screen. So he knows when he gets to the MGM Grand exactly where he's sitting. Now while he's on his way to the MGM Grand, I wanna tell you a little bit about e-corner technology. If you don't know about this, it's absolutely incredible. The e-corner module comprises in-wheel motors, electric brakes, electric power ste steering, and electric damper control in a package that we can put in each wheel individually. What that means is there's no longer a need for any sort of traditional chassis or even a central engine. That's how you have creativity in the design, 
and we can achieve this much space so he can do things like that. When it's on autonomous mode as well, safety features pop up. The M Vision S utilizes camera sensors, it utilizes radar, it utilizes LiDAR to continuously perceive its surroundings, whether that be pedestrians, other vehicles. It also is gonna use that to communicate with other vehicles on the road. Uh, Eric, how about we do this? I know you're showing off the space in there because autonomous driving means much more than just taking your hands off the wheel. It means you can do whatever you want. You can listen to music, you can watch Netflix, you can read a book, or like Eric was doing, you can do some fitness. So Eric, are you, are you got a, did you bust a sweat? Are you okay? He's just chilling. He's having the time of his life. How about this? Let's, let's change the music. So I want to show you now the V-Touch technology. That's the hands-free technology used to control the graphic user interface. So we're going to change the music here, and I'm going to let you put on whatever you want, dealer's choice. He's going for the trendy life category. All right, this is a new one. Let's see what we pop up here. A little Don Cheadle. Okay, excellent choice. How about this? Eric, can you go ahead and turn the volume up on the music? So as you can see, completely hands-free, all while in autonomous mode. The lighting's still blue to signify autonomous mode. And it's completely hands-free. By the way, the sound that you're hearing, I want to give a big shout out to our friends at Krell, providing this amazing auditory experience. For more information on Krell, we have the Krell Sound Lounge right in there. Now, a notification just popped up on the graphic user interface inside of the M Vision S. It says, we'll be late if we keep going with this speed. Do you want to change the drive mode? So the car is recognized if we stay on autonomous driving. Eric's going to be late to the Pop Music Awards. It's asking if he wants to change the drive mode. Eric, it's up to you, man. You want to be on time? Do it yourself. All right, so he's going to go ahead and change the car into manual mode. This is my favorite thing about the M Vision S. I want you to notice what happens. Watch the lighting. See it switch to yellow? That's to signify to everyone on the outside the car is now in manual driving mode. In the future, there's some people who are going to prefer autonomous driving. They want the freedom. And some people are going to prefer manual driving, like Eric. Watch what happens. First, you notice the driver's seat slid out. Second, the cockpit is raising up to the desired level of the driver. And third, watch the steering controls. They slide out right in front of him, essentially creating a cockpit for Eric. So now you can enjoy the pure joy of driving the M Vision S. Now, with that retinal facial recognition I mentioned earlier, he's glancing left and right, simply just using his eyes to glance left or right, and that pulls up the side view mirror information. Also on the graphic user interface, it's gonna reduce the amount of information so he can focus on what he needs to do, and that's driving. So now we've arrived at the MGM. We've shown you autonomous driving. We've shown you the outside of the car. We've shown you the inside of the car. We just showed you manual driving. Last but not least, I wanna show you parking, but in order to do that, I don't need Eric because it's autonomous. Now here's one of the best parts about this vehicle. Eric has been driving to the MGM Grand this entire time. Now he's pulled up to the very front. The M Vision S essentially turns itself into its very own valet service. He pulled up to the front, he got out. For those of you on that side, if you look at the side of the car, it's gonna to communicate to you with the blue lighting and with the communication panel that it's parking itself. So everyone in the parking lot will be aware this car is in autonomous mode and it's finding its own parking space. As soon as it arrived, it started scanning for open parking spaces, making its way through the parking lot on its own, finding its desired parking space, parking, locking the doors, and because it has wireless charging, when you get back, you'll actually be alerted right here on the communication level, or on the communication panel, to the exact level of the charging. Pretty remarkable stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our presentation on the M Vision S. Again, my name is Danny Hoyt, but here's the deal. We don't want you to have to leave if you don't want to. We want you to experience some of this technology for yourself. So right over here, we've got the Future Mobility DIY station. My friend Lilia is over there. If you have any questions about that, you can experience some of that technology. As well as over here, we've got my friend Michael here. You can check out some of the fuel cell technology. We are gonna open up the platform if you'd like to get a closer look on the inside of the M Vision S. You won't be able to go inside, but we do invite you to come up, take some pictures. For those of you that are gonna be standing here, I want you to notice in a minute, using the radar and the LiDAR, the M Vision S is actually gonna detect you and start showing some of you guys on the screen up there. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let us know. Thanks for spending part of your day here with us at Hyundai Mobis at CES.